Okay, hopefully we can get this done over with. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about ancestor, check out heritage, blame a lot of crap. Um, also heard about whole issue about like in China, but then there was a whole big deal about like North Korea, and apparently they were even like trying to. Um, they had a, like the whole offer and everything. They're like, oh, well, we'll give you more money if you have more babies and crap like that. Um, yeah, but. I didn't hear about that first, I heard about it later, but they were just talking about in other Asian countries and stuff like that. Um, they just had a lot lower birth rate and everything, and just lower population level. Um, also heard that most of their population was older, so a lot of it, a lot of their population got taken over, taken out by COVID and everything like that. Okay, um, oh yeah, uh, I want to clarify, like, ancestors and everything, like, Okay, um, let's, let's start from the very beginning. Okay, so, uh, what inspired this idea and made me think about all this stuff and go and deep dive into my head about it and obsess over it for a while is the fact that, um, okay, so there was this couple and then they were both missing, like, they had, a, like, a shorter, one of their fingers was a lot shorter, it had a little bit of nub, they were missing part of their finger, um, and then they got together, they got married and everything, and they had a baby, and then the baby didn't have a limb. Maybe they were missing several limbs, but they they were missing a limb, and they're like, "Why? Why did this happen? Why? Why they they have this defect? Why? Why don't they have limbs? What happened here?" And then they were able to trace it back to like their great great grandpa, or maybe it's three great grandpas. Um, and what happened was incest. He just married his sister. Um, yeah. So and then. I want to spiral being like, oh, I can just blame all my crappy genetics on my ancestors. And you're like, well, it's true. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then I was also randomly later on track went about thinking about um, the Olympics. Because you'll be like, oh, but some people still have, like, great, they're in, like, really good shape. They, they're really tall. They, they have, they're stronger, they're faster, they have better immune systems. Um, and usually I like, see it with, like, a few people in, like, professional sports and, like, the Olympics. Um, and for the Olympics, I think part of it, it would just be, like, you, you see and you're, like, testing, like, how many... <laughs> like, part of it is just being, like, oh, this, this country had more... has less seemingly good genetics because it looks like their ancestors just committed more incest. So even their best sports and performers aren't quite as good as some other countries because they just have more immigrants and they have more mixed blood and throughout those people and everything like that. And those ancestors and commands and incest and everything like that. I should probably have a warning on this. Should. Yeah, okay, um, that was way, way too long. I'm not sure, yeah, I was sort of test that said I didn't really want them to communicate with me. They kept bothering me after, a little bit after, they kept talking to my dad and everything, after, um, graduation, after I legally changed my name, um, after I graduated from high school and everything like that. Um, yeah, okay, that, that was a different complaint. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, but you... Legally, because Trump made it illegal for me to go into the army, and I was like, good thing for me, because they kept trying to recruit me, but not great for my friend, because they just wanted to escape the family, and I was like, the only way out. Because <laughs> they were like, it's either college, or go to the military, or I'm stuck at home. <laughs> and they're like, college is expensive, I'm not going to have like a scholarship and anything to pay for that, so that's not going to work, so we're going to hope for the military. And then you're like, nope, that's illegal now, so I can't do anything about that. Okay, um, I should probably make that a different video. Crap, it disappeared. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so, like, obviously, um, like, the royal family, like, everybody's ancestors, no matter what race, well, race and everything like that, obviously, like, committed some incest and everything. Um, uh, well, probably, well, a little bit anyway. Um, and obviously if you're the better genetics, the less incest your ancestors had and the more other countries that they 
that are in your blood and all that crap. <coughs> the more ethnicities and more races you usually have. Um, okay, so for me personally, on my mom's side, it's just, it's just great. I was like, we, we have mental issues on both sides. Mom's family, dad's family. And also physical issues, like physical health issues also on both sides. And then you also got Irish on both sides. But apparently they're not like second cousins or anything. And they're also... German on both sides, and they're also European on both sides, and I'm like, it also doesn't make any sense, because I'm like, my father literally traveled and everything, and found my mother, and my mother grew up and lived in Nebraska, all just to find someone with the same genetic makeup as him, same ancestors, same crappy genetics, and I was like, they, they shouldn't have not been able to procreate and everything like that, and I was like, yeah, my mom probably had a lot of, um, I don't think she had that many, like, stillbursts, but, um, like, a lot of the, my mom was always trying to have babies, and she had a lot of babies, but, um, and then she only really remembers, like, one, and she's not really sure when that happened, she's thinking it was, um, around the, when the last, like, four of us were born, or maybe a little bit earlier than that, um, but, yeah, and then at that time, it was, like, actual, like, stillbirth, uh, yeah, um, but otherwise, it was just the baby didn't work, um, didn't make it as it was growing, and so it just went back to being normal cells and everything like that. Another reason I was like, I don't get abortion, because I was like, the body kind of just aborts it for you sometimes, because it's like, yeah, this is dead, and it's not working, and it's not growing properly. Um, it's just not going to survive, so I'm just going to reabsorb it into the rest of our body, because it's literally just our cells in the first place anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, so, do, 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 yeah, okay, so, especially since I think it's valid and everything, what I'm saying is because I was, like, obviously, like, the cavemen and everything, I was, like, if they could survive in cold weather, you're, like, oh, but, but they had, like, fur and stuff like that, but they didn't have gloves, they didn't have shoes, uh, you're, like, oh, but some got frostbite, and not all of them survived, but clearly enough did for the rest of us to live on, um, and everything like that, so I, I don't get it. And then also the whole Jews, I don't know how any of them are alive, because the whole Bible is like, you're not allowed to, like, obviously, someone lived and everything, because they're like, yeah, I'm not going to listen to the Bible, I'm going to sleep with her all I want. Because they're like, you're you're only allowed to sleep with Jews, you're only, um, only allowed to sleep with the same people that you traveled across, like, the Red Sea or whatever with, that you escaped from Egypt from, and even when you're in Egypt, you're only allowed to sleep with your own people and all this, and then even, like, in the beginning, I'm like, I don't believe it, because I was like, we, all of us would be completely deformed, and would be completely wrecked, and wouldn't be able to do anything at all, um, especially if they were like, because at the beginning, they're like, it's, it's complete, it just starts with, like, oh, there was a man and a woman, and then they, they slept together, and they had babies, and then their babies had to commit incest, because they couldn't sleep with anyone else, and so, and then that just continued. <laughs> and then that's supposed to make up all the people. And I also think, like, it's definitely that... I think the human race has been around longer than, like, oh, just a few thousand years and all that crap. Um, the Earth definitely older than humanity. I was like, I think humanity started probably around the time that they believe how old the Earth is. <laughs> maybe Maybe a little bit less. But roughly around there, and then the Earth's a lot older. I was like, maybe maybe not as old as evolution says it is. Or may, maybe that's just, like, I think that life came prominent later than what they think in evolution. That's probably what I'm thinking, yeah. I was like, I think that happened a little bit later. Um, evolution and life, I was like, oh, I don't know how old the planet is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But... For it to come, like, humanity, um, habitable, and all that crap, I was like, I, th I think that took probably about how long they say and everything like that. Um, and I was like, maybe, maybe not quite as long as they're saying, but definitely longer than in the Bible and all that crap. And also, that's, like, a super nasty and, like, disgusting to think about. If you're, like, believing the Bible, I was like, wow, so everyone is all, like, because they're like, oh, everyone's, like, related. They came from the first two people. 
I was like, then then they should have just all died out because and everything, especially since you're like, you know, it came in and everything, you're like, oh, you, you had, you were able to like absorb the sun later on better. Um, and then you're also able to just, um, you have to withstand the cold, you know, temperatures, you get less frostbite, you get sick a lot less easier. Because they're like, germs and dirt, like, they always existed, they didn't go away. Like, we, we only grew when we only have, like, all these diseases and all these problems now. I was like, we obviously had them, like, in the 1800s and all this in the 18th century, and a little bit in, like, the 16th and the 17th, and, like, the 1500s, we, we still had a little of them. And then they just got worse, and because our immune systems just got worse and worse. <laughs> They, they didn't improve. They, we wouldn't continue to evolve. We're just de-evolving because there's a whole joke about um, someone being like, oh, especially now because you're like, everyone's allergic to something. You're like, so people can't have like, what a, like, I am, I can't have dairy. Uh, people can't have like wheat or gluten. Yeah, they, they can't have gluten. Um, and they, then they're allergic to seafood. They're allergic to peanuts. Um, like all this stuff. I was like, this wasn't a problem. And this, wasn't a thing in the beginning. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the crappy genetics being passed down and all of that crap. And I was like, and then to like my idea and everything um, that I had to like solve the issue in the other countries. And I was like, you can just, um, I was like, yeah, some people have like Asian fetishes, but I was like, if they're actually dedicated enough to like learn and like learn about the culture and learn the language, then you can just like send them over. But, like just just send some white people <laughs> over <laughs> to get some. <laughs> Uh, mixed blood and everything, so the children have better genetics than the parents. Um, yeah. And then, white people were like, it's always believed that they were superior and everything like that. And then, yeah, they, like, obviously, they didn't just sleep with other white people. Um, they mostly just married them, but, like, they, when they traveled to, like, other countries and everything, yeah, a few of them uh, would sleep around and everything like that. But, um, a lot less of them than the actual amount of travelers and everything. The amount of sailors and the people who actually went there to those other countries and explored them. A lot fewer of them, um, actually, like, got married or stayed or got people pregnant and all that crap. Um, yeah, no. And then also I was like, there, there's still quite a lot of anime fans and otaku fans. I was like, and there's... K-pop fans and everything, I was like, just, just send them over. <laughs> just, just send those, <laughs> just send the fans that are dedicated and that are sexual and that learn the laws and they learn the language and they learn the culture and they're pretty good at speaking. Just, just send them to those countries and then you, you shouldn't have any problem then. <laughs> and that should, should help the problem. I was like, we, we have too many people. We have too many white people. We, we have a high enough population. Like, oh, but it's getting a little bit lower. Yeah, not not enough to us to ever really care or worry about it. Um, in America or in Europe or in most of those countries. Um, and then there was also the Irish show. Um, and they were, they were always talking about how they they were getting married to, like, their cousins and their, like, second cousins and all of this. And they're like, oh, but you, you would all have, like, defects and everything like that. And they're like, yeah, we do. <laughs> Yeah, but um, in general, I was like, yeah, we, we have cancer, and we have, like, kids, and everyone, like, having weaker immune systems, why we have to all take a bunch of vaccines as children and everything like that, it's because our immune systems are pretty much shit just because we're, we're just de-evolving, and we're not evolving, and we're not really improving at all. I was like, yeah, uh, and yeah, definitely we saw the increase in, like, technology, mostly because we were forced to. We, we had to, the doctors had to get better, the hospitals got to get better, they got to learn more about these germs and everything like that. Um, we we got to make better clothing, we got to make better housing, we, we got to make thicker, warmer blankets, we got to make, like, electricity to be able to cook and inside and everything like that and keep ourselves warm. Because otherwise, you immediately just about a lot of people. If you didn't have that, you more people got sick and died from not having it, and it became where it was necessary and it needed because you have to have all those things to replace the defects in your immune system. Because like they're they're immune to like everything. They didn't. They are like oh, they might have had like some systems the cold or whatever, but they 
They never had, like, the flu or anything like that. They didn't have to deal with food poisoning. I was like, they they ate odd raw food, burnt food. Like, they ate everything and anything that they could find. They ate a lot of dirt. They ate bark. Like, and they, they didn't clean things properly. They didn't wash their hands properly. They didn't wash their clothes properly. But, but they still survived. And they made... They made the next generation... They're like, oh, but but not all of our ancestors survived. I'm like, yeah, obviously they didn't, but enough did for <laughs> for there to be a human race and everything like that. And you're like, oh, why why do we have? And then like a lot of it, a lot of people just dying it was originally people were just mostly dying just because of the wars and their conflicts. And then it became, oh, it's mostly just now about diseases. Diseases are killing everybody else. Um, People being ill and sick and having all these health problems is now killing most of the population instead of just wars. Okay, um, so I, I think that should be everything, yeah. Oh, and then, um, yes, uh, another complication, yeah. Never mind, that, that should be something else, okay. I think we can finally be done. <laughs> Bye.